All right, so I'm making this video to kind of do a how-to. I see a lot of these, um, I don't know, I'm going to try and keep this simple because every time, you know, one of these YouTubers talk about swapping in a six-speed, you know, they don't shut the fuck up. They got to talk about themselves and their dreams and their build for like 20 minutes, so that's not going to be me. All right, so 2014 WRX, I... Um, I blew out third gear, so the synchros to third gear were burnt out. So, you know, I had a choice. I was either swapping another five-speed or do a six-speed swap. So originally, I wanted to um, just swap out another five-speed, you know, preferably a rebuilt one for like 1500 bucks, and, you know, just throw a clutch in there. Call I couldn't find a good remanufactured one. Or, you know, nobody sells remanufactured five speeds, first of all. And second of all, every time I found a used one, it was off a car with, a, you know, X hundred thousand miles or junkyard find. And everyone wants like $1,500 for these fucking things. Now I ordered my setup with the drive shaft axles, um, mounting brackets, and, you know, the starter and slave solenoid for uh, $2,800. What I got? Used six speed from uh, used JDM engine. I don't know. I heard good things about them, so I went with them. Um, this is exactly what I bought, so I'll just run through what it came with. You know, it came with the cross member. The it only came with half the drive shaft and these two axles. I didn't use the axles. I ended up using half the drive shaft, and the cross member was bent, so like I couldn't use it. I ended up using the old one that was on the five speed. Which was annoying because this one was a lot cleaner than the one on my five speed, which was kind of rusted out. Uh, it came with the shifter, came with a starter, came with the slave cylinder. So, like, if you get those little bits, um, you save some money. This one did come with a clutch, but, you know, like, the flywheel was cracked as shit. And, you know what? Might as well uh, change it because, let me tell you, it is a pain in the fucking ass to get this thing in and out. So let's see here, you know, like make sure when you order these things, you can look for the sticker here and you can look up, um, you know, like the drive ratios to make sure you're getting what you, what you expect you're getting. Like in this one, it's a description, TCCD, 3.9 drive, um, this 50 to 65,000 miles, that's like a, I guess that's a JDM myth. I don't know. Apparently Japanese people fucking throw out their car at 100,000 kilometers. So, like, this is the range in terms of, like, when you get them. So, anyway, uh, let's see. Where's the, oh, yeah, here's the model number. So, like, you can Google the model number and, uh, yeah, JDM Impreza STI. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, reverse, and then final drive is 3.9. Uh, center diff type, DCCD. So this is exactly what you need if you want to do it the cheap way, which is what I did, which you know didn't involve replacing my rear differential, my brakes, my hubs, any of the axles. It just swapped right in. Only thing I had to replace was the drive. Sh All right, here's another thing to keep in mind. So the pinion flange on the R160 does not fit a STI axle. Let's see. Here it is. Here's half the STI axle. The other half's in the house. Um, so in order to make the R160 fit, uh, you got to get a flange for an R180. All right. So I just got the six speed in. My hands are very dirty. So I'm trying not to touch anything in the car except the shifter. Uh, you know, shifts very nice. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. Pull up, reverse, everything works out. You know, I drained the rest of fluid, like the leftover fluid that the, you know, the previous owner left in it, or the JDM end porter left in it. Um, there was no metal. It was nice, like, oily color. It wasn't gray or silver like my last transmission. So I have high expectations that this will work. All right, so... I'll get into the specifics. So, 2014 Subarus, um, 
basically, uh, you know, like the, the big issue is the front axles. So the front axles that snap in to the transmission uh, of the car, uh, they got to match the six speed you buy. So I guess there's two types. There's the female ones on the older generations, like 2000 to 2004, and the uh, newer generation STIs. I'll, I'll have a uh, female, uh, female connectors and the stuff, but I don't know. You just got to look. So anyway, uh, to break down what I did, transmission, clutch, starter, slave cylinder, drive shaft, DCCD controller, and eye wire. Uh, this is an eye wire and a harness I bought. You don't have to get this, but it, it saves you a lot of wi like pain in the ass wiring. Uh, let's see, transmission, 2689 it cost me. The, the eye wire harness was about 68 The clutch was 500 Drive shaft. Um, so sometimes you can find a kit with the, with the transmission to come with a drive shaft, but uh, it only came with half of it. So I ended up finding the other half on... Uh, oh, yeah, the uh, I ended up keeping the same rear differential the r160 rear diff um you could do that with the jdm ones because they match the final drive on the usdm because uh, the usdm wrx's have three nine final drives so the jdm six speeds have three nine final drive my impression of whether it was worth it or not these gears are fucking short i uh, i mean like i mean I'm shifting all the time. Um, you know, the five speed, I could put it in third gear and drive all around town. Six speed, you know, I started second and I'm in fourth around town. I don't know. It's not really a huge difference, but uh, it does. It's not going to help. It's not going to help my gas mileage. That's for sure. Um, it is fucking, it is quicker and it will break. It does break loose sometimes. Um, I was on boost earlier, and it, it fucking, all four wheels let go of the pavement. I mean, it was raining out, but that never happened before I swapped the transmission. Um, some problems I ran into, the, um, when you're unbolting the transmission, uh, there's a bolt, one of the bell housing bolts on the passenger side, right next to the turbo. Be careful when you take that out, it probably will snap. Um, the turbo gets hot and it's heating and cooling that bolt, you know, for 80,000 miles, it's going to fucking fuse in there. Um, I had to like drill it out. Uh, same with one of the intercooler, uh, the intercooler bolts that hold the turbo on, or the bolts that hold the intercooler to the turbo, one of those snapped. Here goes nothing. <laughs>